Deanna, I actually do something different, and for anyone finding this video, I'm just going to show real quick. I'm going to use the line tool, which is just uh, done by you know pressing L. It's a built-in hotkey. And I'm going to draw a line, and then I'm going to select that line, and I'm going to press 3, which is also a built-in hotkey, and I'm going to create a break, which means that there's actually a break in this line. You can see it there. And what I'm going to go to do is I'm going to go to my toolbar in X11 here, and I'm going to click Simplify Polyline, which removes that break. Now I no longer have that break. But what we effectively did was we turned this line into a polyline. And polylines have these two added uh, uh, tabs here in the data box, which is add an arrow, add a label. And so I'm going to add an arrow, include arrow on both ends, and I'm going to add a label, but not yet. I'm going to create that label in a macro first. And so what we're doing here is creating a very dynamic dimensioning line. Um, so let's go ahead and open up macros. And I'm going to write a new macro. We'll just call it test. And I'm going to say that this test, we're going to put test as a, a global um, macro. I guess you would call it a variable or a method. Um, I'm actually not that familiar. I'm still learning this stuff. But we're going to say that test equals, uh, and let's put a close parentheses. And I'm going to say that this is the perimeter, which is a value we can grab from that polyline. And I'm going to take that perimeter, I'm going to divide it by 12, and close this guy up. Oops, there we go. And then I'm going to round that value to two decimal places. And so now we have test sh that should be right there. And so now if we go ahead and quote and give a little bracket here and give our guy test inside of that bracket and then I'm going to add just a foot and an inch symbol evaluate owner object and let's see if I did that right so if I open up these this uh, P line now go to label and specify that macro I just did with a little bit of luck there we go and so I've got this dynamic dimensioning tool that's not you know it's it's got a lot more versatility in the way that it snaps and dimensions right but it's linear and it's not going to pick up any objects and it doesn't have you know an extend object tool or anything like that it's it's a very simple little tool and actually, let's get back to the macro. We're going to put in uh, something called a rescue. Into that macro for anybody finding this. And we're going to go rescue test. And so what I should be able to do now, if I did this right, is I should be able to put a text box here and put that same macro in. And there we go. So not only do I have a dimension line here that's got some versatility and I can, you know, I know this is at a 45, it's snapped to a 45, but it's also updating this value to the right here. So I can do a quantified list right like a um, which is exactly how I do my lot coverages everything you see here are macros I was coached by Alaskan Sun for macros he gave me a um, I did one session and, and I got a lot out of that session and, and kinda came up with my own system for this stuff so um, and this is one of those gems that he taught me about so something to know really valuable and hope that helps you out